Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, my name is Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot, here to do your January reading, okay, I am back, I had some work to do in the 3D, I had to do, which has all been part of my own spiritual journey, I'm going to do a separate video about that, explain it, but for today, Cancer, this is a general reading, it's not going to resonate with everybody, if it does, great, I hope it helps you, if it doesn't, just kick it to the curb, or if you know someone it does help, please do share, all right, and thank you for all you loyal subscribers, okay, let's go for cancer, I'm going to do an enchanted forest first, just see where we are in the overall energy of the journey right now, for cancer please, no I didn't feel that, for cancer please, very sticky energies, I feel like yeah, I felt it, I oh okay right you've got the raven spirit ravens are all about messages from spirit aren't they birds are aren't they but ravens in particular but ravens can be very protective as well this is telling me you're going to get a message that's going to reveal the truth of the situation right whatever it is you've been dealing with and i feel that's something you just want to get to right i feel like you feel you've been kept in the dark you've been second guessing um, and that's that's horrible energy isn't it because it's like you just can't relax into what you're doing even if what you're facing is quite tumultuous it might hurt right you just want to know what is it i'm facing what is it i've got to deal with but i feel like with the raven spirit you've been hiding away but the truth is going to come in right this is messages coming in right and I feel that's because I feel it's been delayed because you weren't ready to face the truth right take that how it resonates could be a partner could be a life situation could be a work situation but I feel like spirits waking you up to face the truth and they're asking you to trust the divine in this situation because I feel you've been protected right in the Keepers of the Light, Freya, she has a raven and it's protecting, you know, it's permanently circling, I can't say it, circling you in the spiritual realm, right, in the three day, right, so, so you've got your guides around you, it's like your spiritual armies around you now, so the truth is allowed to come out and whatever that truth is, I just want to trust, right, because I think it might rock you a bit, but I just want you to trust that spirit's got your back. That's what I'm feeling on this reading, Cancer, right? And I feel you might feel it yourself, right? You might be becoming more spiritual yourself. You know, you're trusting in the divine path. Yeah, I can't control it. I don't always like it, but it is what it is. And we're going to learn some lessons from it, okay? I'm going to go straight to the tarot for clarification on that. Get some more in the here and now. And I have pre-blessed all the decks, by the way, Cancer, please for cancer yeah and can you say like sorry I'm, i keep getting drawn back to it can you say like that it's made and remember this is male or female but like they're reaching the hand out right for the bird to come in the raven to come in and to speak the truth because they're like yeah i'm ready but it's peaceful can you say it's peaceful so there might have been stages of anxiety you might still be working through that anxiety and pain right that's keeping you shaky has done kept you all up in your head but it's, it's, it is an acceptance and that's why Spirit's saying, right, you're ready this because you won't book the truth now. But let's start this next leg of your journey. That's what I'm feeling, Cancer. Right, it's a lovely energy, right? And it can feel scary when you go on new journeys. You know, it's not, it, 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 but, it, but it's a different kind of scary because it's sat with a, a level of anticipation. You know, you're taking back control as best you can. You're, you're starting to direct your moves. You're starting to see through where it is you want to go and where you want to take this. And you start to put that end vision in place of what's important for you, Cancer, right? Not letting others control your truth. That's what I feel, right? fucking hell you can't you can't make it up can you the wheel wheel of fortune here right so the wheel is spinning and that is absolutely sitting with that like we said it's time to you know stop hiding away accept the truth of the situation trust that spirit's got your back and allow the wheel to spin right it's lovely energy and and, and that is exactly what the wheel's about you know again you, I can't control what I can't control, but what I can do is trust spirit and relax into it, sort of just, just flex into it, you know, um, and, and go with the flow of it, right? Because it, it's the mind trying to control the 3D that puts you all into disarray, absolute disarray, right? You don't know your ass from your elbow, right? But because you're trying to fight what is naturally going to occur, there's nothing you can do about it. It's going to happen anyway. You know, we say when we see the tower, 
it's a case of well you can bring the tower down or the tower will come down you're not going to stop it it's going to happen right so this is someone who's now just i, I want to say like you're just allowing your wings to open up your chest out to the divine you know your soul out to the divine to say show me the way show me the way right and i understand that some things i'm going to come across on this journey are going to hurt me right <laughs> right some things I'm going to come across on this journey are going to hurt me. But with the Eight of Swords showing underneath, and I feel this is what you're leaving behind, the Eight of Swords is all about, like, um, stuck in a, 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 like, it's like feeling trapped. Can you see how the swords are surrounding? Can you see how the blindfold's on, right? And it always reminds me, this, of the Queen of Wands, sort of almost like a Queen of Wands in the minor. Um, and I'm probably the only one who sees that, but because it's because of the red and it's because of the, and you can see the passions in that person, but the, these imaginary swords are around them and they're keeping them stuck, right, in a situation. What I want to say to you, Cancer, is, you know, it's not always every aspect of your life, well, I hope not, uh, where everything's crashing down. But what we can do is focus on the bit that we feel is crashing down. And what we lose sight of when we're locked in this energy is all the beautiful other blessings that we've got, all the other beautiful opportunities that we've got surrounding us, right? This maiden can quickly slide between these swords and escape, take the blindfold off. And I feel like, remember, this is male or female. As you do that, Cancer, right as you remind yourself of the beauty that is in your life as you remind yourself that whatever it is you're dealing with this isn't the be all and end all right you start to feel more power you start to feel more energy and you start to manifest new beginnings and you'll deal with whatever this situation along that journey because what you're doing is now you're moving yourself into a high vibe you know you're waking up and you're counting the blessings you do have you're not allowing like yourself to put a cog in that wheel because again, when you're faced with a bad situation, something that really hurts, you can put a cog in that wheel and stay stuck. You know, oh, this is shit, like, this is awful, this is shit. So you, you, you put the cog in the wheel and bring everything to a grinding halt. Right, you can't do that, don't do it, right? When you're in battle, and remember, you're all warriors, your 3D is, is being a warrior, you'll have wins and you'll have losses on that battlefield. And sometimes you need to get off the battlefield for a minute, rest, right? Heal your injuries, but then spirit comes in, picks you up and push, pushes you back on. And that's what's happening. I want you to understand there's other blessings in your life and keep allowing that wheel to spin. Do not stay focused and stuck on this. This is one element of your life path. It might be a very important element and it might hurt like shit, right? But you got to let that spin to keep your energy up because when you keep your energy up, you will deal. Think of yourself going on that battlefield spiritually, right? If you're going in in that energy, right, you're a sitting duck. You're a sitting duck, right? You, you just may as well say, do me now, end me now, right? But when you're keeping your energies up and you're flowing and you're trusting spirit and you're feeling the power of spirit and you're vibing, right? Yeah, I've got to deal with that. But look at all of this as well, right? You're a strong warrior. Queen of Wands comes flying out. That's what I feel, right, Cancer? I do, right? For Cancer, please. It's a beautiful read. Now I can see it's been hard. Yeah, I felt it and I will take it. <laughs> you can't make it up. Hermit, what have I said, right? You can't stay off the battlefield too long, right? So with this coming out in this sequence, right, I feel like, you know, when we said stuck in that web of deceit, the raven spirit resting, the hermit, the hermit's about going into a dark night of the soul energy, right? Going into that dark night of the soul energy, so coming off the battlefield essentially, but it's like a feeling of what the fuck just happened, where did this come from? It's come left field, I didn't see it, right? How do I deal with it? But what you've got to do is get back up. Yes, sign the light of introspection on it. Yes, get your head around it in the raven spirit, but face the truth of it, you know, even if it hurts. Go out to it, face it head on. Let the divine lead you. Can you see the soul, right? Can you see the soul? Uh, it's beaming, right? It's beaming. And the, the hermit here, you know, is holding the wand, right? And I keep seeing this wand's energy in this, which is passion, it's fire, you know, 
and this always always reminds me because it's one one it's like the fool energy of you know oh god right if i've just got to do something completely different or jump off this cliff i'm gonna do it it also reminds me of the ace of wands which is about you becoming your own divine masculine divine feminine accepting the truth and getting to your desires to where you want to be right that's what it is not putting a cog in that wheel right i'm also seeing it's gorgeous right three of pentacles this is legacy building right so again when we come into this lifetime we come here on a life journey right a life path right we've got a calling and when we deviate from that calling it's a little bit what i've done in the last 12 months or so right but i had to for 3d reasons and i will explain it further but I could never rest my soul I could never rest my soul right this is where i'm supposed to be and this is why i'm taking big changes now to come back so this is legacy building right it's understanding that you know i'm here for a calling and on this journey on this calling i'm going to come across some things that are going to hurt i'm going to take the wrong pathway sometimes and drop myself in the brambles right <laughs> i am and you know you feel a bit like coming out a bit scratched and scathed like fucking hell right but actually the sooner i get back into who i am and what i'm supposed to be everything else just sort of feels easier to deal with because what i'm doing right what i'm doing is i'm working to my true soul purpose right so I've, you, you've come back to center you've grounded yourself again right you, your feet are flat on the floor in the 3d you don't feel like a cat you know on a hot tin roof right you feel steady and everything else becomes much easier to deal with in that energy yeah i felt it and i will take it <laughs> ace of cups wow right so that is mirroring that is mirroring the wheel right so that and what we, this is what ace of cups you can see it's abundance it's happiness it's joy it's your cup feeling filled up right overflowing right and that's what's going to happen as you release this wheel as you accept what you're dealing with in the moment you accept the journey that you're on you trust the divine are guiding you on this pathway you don't allow yourself to stay in that eight of swords the hermit and the three of pentacles right can feel quite bloody scary right because um i mean i know i've been in it and it, it's like you, you, you're leaving your entire foundation behind often right because because you're rebuilding but with the ace of cups coming next to it you know you're rebuilding to a passionate brand new future right where you will feel at one at peace and when you're at one at peace i'm telling you when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing it doesn't feel like work it doesn't feel like you know frustrating energy you just are in it right you are just in it and you, you flow and that's what's coming in right it's lovely right it's taking you to the ten of cups <clears throat> gorgeous after the ace of cups coming under the wheel right you've got to trust it this is family it's home it's hearth it, it's the joy the joy you know of everything that you wanted ace of cups followed by the ten of cups coming under the wheel i'm telling you let it go cancer let it go anything that's toxic in your life anything that's holding you back keeping you down right and i mean i mean other energies right <laughs> you know i mean other energies can you see grieving right coming under that eight of swords there right can you see like this right coming under that because what we're doing here this is grief right we're focusing on these three cups that have fell down right and we're stuck we're bent over right with it coming under that eight of swords it's very clear it's like the, it's like spirit saying cancer get the fuck back up here right get the fuck back up because there's two beautiful cups here waiting for you full of joy but you've got to turn around right you've got to stop focusing on what's not working what's hurting and you've got to face the joy right you've got to face the joy and you might think oh you're not me you're not facing what i'm facing i've been there believe me i know it's hard trust your intuition high priestess here coming under the hermit wow 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 right the power in these cards right it's exactly what this reading has all been about it's saying to you come out come out of this hermit energy trust your soul your soul is your high priestess right that's what it is 
flip this energy, transmute it, take the pain, transmute it and become your high priestess. Let go, let God, let divine right and you keep powering up and focusing on your, all your blessings and the light and transmute that pain into positive energy i'm also talking to someone here who's a healer because when the high priestess shows up it means you're a healing energy because remember we've been here lifetime after lifetime right and you bring that with you you don't get the knowledge of it as soon as you're born in the 3d it's your life journeys that bring you closer and closer into your wisdom of your soul right and so i've got someone here you may already be a healer you may be thinking of becoming a healer but high priestess coming under the hermit is asking you to transmute the dark into the light <laughs> right queen of swords here under three of pentacles this is cutting people off who are telling you coming next to that high priestess under this three of pentacles People who are saying you can't do it, don't do it, won't do it, shouldn't do it, don't be stupid, cut them out, right? Cut them out. Now, I'm not saying you have to cut them out your life. I'm not saying that, right? What I'm saying to you is cut the verbal bullshit out, right? Just cut it out. You, only you, your soul, you know where you're meant to be. You know what was going to make you happy. You know what's going to make you feel comfortable. And that's what you're being asked to do. Just Queen of Swords says, ah, fuck off, right? You're not my greatest good. Your life is your life. Go and live your life with blessings. With blessings, right? But leave me to live mine. All right. So that's what I feel. So it's cutting. And again, coming out of that hermit as well. Coming out of that Eight of Swords, that Five of Cups grief, it's also the energy of looking around yourself and doing a cleanse, an energy cleanse. What is it I'm doing in my life that are the blockers, right? What is it I'm doing that are the blockers? What is stopping me stepping on my divine path? Right, I need to cut that out. And again, you know, this could be a job situation, but again, you don't have to suddenly go, right, that's it, the fuck off, here's my resignation. You don't have to do that, right? But what you do do is commit inside your head, your soul, that... I'm going to change that because it's blocking my path, right? And that's what you're being asked to do. Because what it's doing, mirroring that Ten of Cups, look at this Five of Wands, it's giving you internal angst. There's nothing worse for me than the Five of Wands energy. This card induces such stress to people. Because what it does is you're in indecision all the time. You're like, can you see the push, pull, the tug of war? It, it always feels to me like your mind and your soul, you know, but it could also represent, you know, other things like your heart, people around you. It's like, no, don't do that. But yes, I want to do it. Oh no, babe, maybe I better not do it. No, don't do it. And you're back and forth, back and forth. And that starts to create uh, cognitive dissonance inside your body and cognitive cognitive dissonance is when you're questioning the reality of what you're seeing we often see it, it, it well it's often referred to with narcissists where they present it one way and you think you know this person and you think you know who this person is and then boom they suddenly change and you're left like what the what and that's the shock, it's the cognitive dissonance because your mind that protects your 3D body is trying to come to terms with what you thought you saw in terms of your safety, your protection versus what it became. And that's what's happening in the five of wands. I think your future sort of projecting in terms of, I want to do that, but I can't see how it's going to work or I haven't got the comfort or what if it doesn't work, you know, and that's these other energies around you. Whereas if you're going to successfully manifest here, you've got to get your head down. You don't have to tell everybody what you're doing. You don't, right? It's, it's your soul journey. You decide how it's going to play out. Your thoughts become your reality. But what you're being asked to do here, Cancer, is commit to your decision and start to quietly, strategically make your moves. But to quieten that, that anxiety in you, to quieten your soul to quiet get your mind connected back to your soul it's knowing that we are going to go there we just need to figure out the map to it right so that's what i'm feeling cancer i'm going to take you an angel card just to bless this reading please for cancer i love you so much cancer and you know you're so intuitive the most intuitive uh, in all the signs and I just feel like I've got someone here who's a healer who is struggling right now. That's what I feel. And I can't believe what angel they've just shown me. And I will take her. Thank you. It's my favourite one. Right. What have I just said? Visualise abundance in all forms. Well, this just wraps your reading up beautifully. 
God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualise eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive and filled with blessings and that is what you will experience and that is what this reading has all been about. Don't get stuck on whatever it is that's hurting you right now. Don't stick the cog in the wheel and go down the rabbit hole, right? Keep focused on there's lots of energy and areas in your life for you to build even if you're dealing with something difficult right now. The truth of the matter is going to come to you. You're going to know what it is you're facing and the more energy you build by building all the forms, you see how it says in all forms of your life will make you the warrior, the strength to go on that battlefield, have that battle. You will not be a sitting duck and your positivity on what you're building for your future is going to guarantee your success through this situation. Fucking hell, cancer. Oh, absolutely gorgeous, right? I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did and you haven't already, please do subscribe. Please share if you think it's someone it would help as well. Do like the video. Um, again, if it's helped, it really helps the algorithm. Well, I'm obviously getting back up and going on YouTube right now because I had quite the break. It was because I had work to do in the 3D. As I say, I've grown spiritually through that process. And believe you me, that was a fucking dark night of the soul. And I'm going to share that on a different video. All right, darlings. Love and light. And until next time, I'll be back for your February readings, okay? I'm back doing this full time now. Um, so I'll be back for your February readings. Love, light and blessings, Cancer. Bye.